Hi, I'm Doug Varga, I'm Director of Marketing at Invincence. And what I'm here to show you is a remote control solution using motion for uh, controlling uh, IP connected TVs. And if you look around the CES show flow, you, you see a lot of these internet connected TVs. And with them, you need a, a way of navigating through you know, your media collection and also a way of navigating through internet sites. And the traditional sort of up, down, left, right uh, controller that you have with your uh, traditional remote controls just doesn't uh, cut it anymore. So what we're showing is a demonstration using Windows Media Center and showing how you can use motion to control that and how that would be applicable to a uh, internet connected TV, IPTV. So what we have here is a um, basically a, um, a motion control and this could be an RF solution. We're just, um, we just have it wired here because there's a lot of RF interference here at, at the show floor. And what we have is sort of a traditional uh, mouse type functionality, mouse type control, which allows you to go through uh, different, um, different menus and sort of click through things. So here you can, s you can click through your menus. But beyond that, one of the benefits of motion is that instead of just being able to simply use motion in, in a mouse type function, you can also use motion for gesture shortcuts. So if you want for the simplified navigation, for example. So much like in a Windows environment, you might have keyboard shortcuts for moving around. You can also do the similar things um, using uh, motion. So what we've done with our, uh, in our motion processing library, we have the ability, uh, which comes with our devices, we have the ability to map gestures and, let, and have learning gestures. So here, what we've done is simply train certain gestures to control uh, the uh, screen here. So uh, right now, for example, I'm doing a simple gesture like this and that takes me to my uh, TV guide. So then I can then use the uh, mouse function to go ahead and uh, select through and go through various um, channels that I want. Um, for example, if I then want to go to something else, I do another simple gesture. I can go to my picture library. Um, similarly then, if I want to go, let's do that one more time. If I want to go to the internet here, I can go do another gesture to get to the internet. And then one of the things that you'll notice when you're doing um, browsing on an internet is that um, you have these pages that sort of go all the way up and down the screen and you don't typically have like a standard cursor, excuse me, um, track wheel to go ahead and scroll nicely up and down. And it's kind of a pain to grab the uh, little scroll bar on the side there. So what we've done is also map some gestures for doing simple internet control and internet navigation. So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing a button to let the uh, device know I'm doing a gesture and then I can sort of scroll up and down nicely um, using the uh, using motion and then if I want to say like go to a site learn about the rumors of the new iPhone model for example I can sort of click go to that site um, do the same sort of thing you know sort of scroll up and down and then we've also done um, gestures for sort of previous page and next page so I just did a just a quick motion like that for previous page and I can go to Go to the previous page, and if I sort of go, um, let's see, if I, one second. So if I go back to Windows Media Center environment, we also have gestures for doing volume. So here you see, you see the volume control. It's like too responding slowly here. I'm not sure why, but I can do simple sort of gestures, uh, like turning a knob on a radio or your old-fashioned TV or something like that for controlling the volume.